Hey there guys, and this is in response to a question that I saw on a Facebook group, which is how to model this shape um, with this coffin head to it and also keep the curves here um, in Fusion 360. So it's a little bit um, a little bit challenging. Um, you just got to kind of use some thinking to think about the best way to approach it. But this is how I would do it. Um, so if we go to the top down view and we'll create a circle and uh, we'll make that say 30 in diameter. Uh, we will un anchor it, so delete coincident. And now we can move this down, and we'll move it down by about, say, 50. OK, now I'll create another sketch, same plane, top-down view. And this will be a polygon. Um, and again, it's going to be 15 across. Now, you see, our diameter of our circle was 30, so this will be 15. All right, uh, so if we make this 15, and go to Finish Sketch. Now, we can loft these two objects together. So we go to Create and Loft, and we select our upper profile and our lower profile there, and we loft those together. Now, you've got two different types of edges you can have here. Uh, tangent edges will keep the edges. So we'll go for tangen tangent edges. OK, and there we go. So now we have a transition from the circle to our hexagon at the top. Now we'll select the top again as our sketch plane. And we create a polygon. This time, we have to make sure it's going to go into the um, center of one of the sides. OK? So the orientation cannot be the same. It has to go to the center. And we'll make it five this time um, across. So now we're going to select this and extrude it. We're going to extrude it down. We'll snap to that position. We go to intersect. And we set our taper angle. So let's say 20 degrees. Or we can make it um, more or less, depending on how much of a taper you want. So we could make it uh, 18, for example. Now, the more um, of an angle we have, the slightly more of a curve we get, okay? But just, just slightly. Um, so if we choose that as our angle and we go to OK, uh, there we basically have now, now have our shape um, here. So the only thing that we are left to do then is to uh, either you can extrude this out like so. And uh, there we have it. There's the shape we're, that we're looking to uh, model. So I hope this answers the question. For the person here on Facebook, I'm going to um, I'm post this as a reply to the comment and the link. And uh, if you follow the YouTube channel, um, you can also download the project file from the comments below. So thanks very much, and I'll see you next time.